Well, for Property Buff, Super Saturday is the biggest day of the year, and yesterday's real estate grand final didn't disappoint. In Sydney, 90% of homes that went under the hammer were sold. Prices were also pushed above reserves on the back of record low interest rates and a post-election surge in buyer confidence. So, is this the start of another boom, or is it purely a housing bubble waiting to burst? And can the rest of the nation expect their markets to follow suit? Joining us with some future projections into Australia's housing market is Louis Christopher from, S from SQM Research and the Daily Telegraph's senior real estate writer Tim McIntyre. Good morning gentlemen, thank you for coming Good on the show morning, today. Good morning pleasure. Louis I'll begin with you, in your opinion we hear so much that we're in a property bubble at the moment. Is it baloney or is, it, is there a bubble out there? Kath, it's baloney. I'm here to tell you it's baloney for now. Uh, quite clearly though we are having a recovery in the housing market. But just put it, putting it on record here, when you actually look at the current capital growth rates around the country, we're only getting about 5 to 6% at this point in time. With some exceptions being, for example, Sydney, where, in my opinion, we're now growing at about 9% per annum. Uh, so it's really hard to say that we're in a bubble when the capital growth rate's only running at 4 to 6%, which is way behind what the share market's doing at this point in time. And let's not forget that only last year, we were coming out of a two-year downturn where house prices were falling. Uh, so we need some perspective here. Yes, the market is picking up, but at this point in time, there is no bubble. And now, Tim, you're nodding to all of this. You cover this sector. Um, and are you seeing similar, similar things? I mean, why, why are we hearing so much in the mainstream media that there is a bubble? Oh, look, uh, basically, um, up until the start of this year, there was a lot of talk about you know, when, when are we going to recover, when are we going to recover, because house prices had gone down in Sydney for a couple of years. Um, now, we have recovered uh, sort of beginning of this year, towards the end of last year, it sort of started happening, and, and all of a sudden now we've grown again by another four-odd four, four odd percent, and people are saying, here's, here's a property bubble. I mean, in, in the media, a lot, a lot of... Um, a lot of the reportage is, is about auctions and they're going for a hundred or two hundred thousand dollars over over reserve but then you also got to remember they only make up 15 percent of the actual housing market so well, and I th it's important to look at supply as well if you can compa compare it back to a couple of years when it was more booming times uh, there's not as much supply on the market either is there well no there's nowhere near enough supply to meet the current demand that there's going on in Sydney at the moment like essentially it, it's technically a great time to buy if you're like if you're looking to buy a house because interest rates are so low um, compared to a couple of years ago, you're saving between six and ten thousand dollars a year on an average mortgage, um, which is amazing. But what that means is that a lot of people want to get in and get a piece of that. But unfortunately, there's not enough property. So what that then generates is a competitive environment where the prices are, are pushed upwards by all that competition. Okay. Well, let's look across Australia because the states and capital cities are all faring very differently. Louis, can you give us a bit of a snapshot on what your advice might be to say first home buyers and investors? Absolutely. I mean, look, you, we are getting quite a divergence in. Uh, in house price growth. For example, in Canberra right now, house prices are falling mm. and will likely fall next year given the federal government slash and burn take it to where you assume will happen. Is, sorry, so people sorry, will be leaving Canberra. Yeah, correct. Is, is, that, is that all the, the public service and stuff that are losing their, their jobs? Is that, is that sort of the Well, from our understanding that, that, that there could be up to 8,000 jobs gone uh, for the capital city there. Uh, so that will have an impact upon the market. It already is having an impact because the Labor government was actually trying to get the budget into the black in 2011 and 2012 and house prices were falling in Canberra at that time as well. So, uh, yeah, the, the market there is not doing well. On the other hand, if you look at, say, for example, South East Queensland, where the downturn has actually been quite severe, the Gold Coast, for example, fell by 20 per cent between 2010 and 2012. Market looks now like that's finally bottoming out. So that actually could be relatively a good time to buy in South East Queensland right now. Uh, but in all this, it's really important that buyers definitely take into account their own personal budgets, their own personal financial circumstances, and definitely assume that we will have interest rate, interest rate rises in the future. So That's what, really what does that spell then for the future, the, the near-term future? Say so the next 12 months, someone's watching at home today, they're thinking, I really want to get in as a first home buyer. Do they wait or do they just bite the bullet now? Because if your predictions are correct, rates are going to go up. Well, uh, actually, Louis um, and his company, SQM Research, just, re just released their, their boom and bust report. And Sydney is the only place 
where they're, they're tipping price growth. Uh, Louis himself, uh, I think you've said 15 to 20 percent you're predicting for Sydney growth next year. So uh, but just to clarify that, Tim, we are predicting capital growth in a number of capital cities, but just modest capital growth to moderate capital growth next year. Sydney, though, as you've rightly said, is the one city we're experiencing quite a boom in real estate prices. So, yes, we believe 15 to 20 percent is a likelihood for 2014. So, so what does that mean? Do you, do you buy now or else wait for a couple of years? Or, or? Good question. Yeah, look, um, really difficult for buyers at this point in time, as you've seen at the auctions. Uh, many first-home buyers are competing with many investors out mm. there. Uh, it is a struggle. Uh, will the market correct at some point in time by 15 to 20 percent to bring us down to today's levels again? I don't see it. I don't see it right at this point in time, that's for sure, uh, especially not for Sydney. So it's, it's a difficult situation. What we need to do for first-time buyers is we need to address the supply side, That's particularly New South Wales. Yeah. Absolutely. And I know that the state government's certainly making uh, some very good attempts at doing that, and we will see a supply side response in about two to three years' time, but we're not seeing it right now. Okay. Some great insight. Not potentially great news for first-time buyers all the <laughs> same. Louis and Tim, thank you very much for your time and Meet the Press today. Pleasure, Kath. Thank Thanks. You. Well, next on the show, we meet the pride of Australia, ordinary Aussies with extraordinary stories.